tonight, and uh, I think he even helped us out maybe a little bit. And uh, so, like you said, we do it two in a row. We're going to be the champions. I think that's what the people in this area have wanted, some champions they can be proud of, not a bunch of jerks like Fuji, Gorgeous George, the Stomper. You know, this, this kind of thing is when they come out here saying we are the champion, we represent the people in this area, you know, we don't need that kind of stuff. So we're going to try to give the people some champions they can be proud of. All right. We'll be looking for them. Monday night, Billy. And the champions are going to the Jackson tonight, brother. We're going to be in Jackson, Tennessee. Okay, yeah, I'm going to be up there with you, too, Billy. Right. We'll see you there. I'm not going to say what channel, but my radio show is on tonight, 11. Oh. No way to get along with him, the old king, Jerry Lawler. We'll be back with more action coming up in just a moment. models could be bankers, lawyers, office workers, teachers, salesmen, but they all have one thing in common. They all bought their suits, sport coats, and slacks at Berry Manufacturing Company and were not ashamed to save money. In these days of inflation and high prices, how about you? At Berry, you can buy vested suits from only $69.95, sport coats from $38.95, slacks from $14.95. Berry Manufacturing Company, still offering you sensational quality at down-to-earth prices. Look at there. Monroe's giving away $10. Just go to any participating dealer, pour June 30, make your best deal on four radiomatic or Monroe Magnum 60 shots, and he'll give you... 471 pounds from Louisiana, Larry Latham, and from Memphis, Tennessee, Wayne Ferris. Going against them on the right of your screen, total weight 423 pounds. From South Wales, Great Britain, Tony Charles, his partner from Lexington, Tennessee, Tommy Gilbert Jr. This match, one fall, 15-minute time limit. Referee is Paul Morton. And the team of Latham and Ferris pulling off their capes and their shades. And Latham is going to be starting and across the ring. Let's see whether it'll be veteran Tony Charles. Yeah, Tony is going to get off and run in with a opener. It's no time, and we're here we go. There he is. You look at that little infectious grin on the Welshman's face, and he is something else. And he is also something else with those wrestling moves. Hooks that arm, takes uh, Latham right over and down. Latham goes for a top wrist lock. But Tony just converts it immediately, headlocks him, mares him right over, and springs a leg on Larry Latham. Tag Wayne Ferris into the ring. Tony Charles ties up with him. And right away, Tony hooked underneath him and took him over. Keep your eye on Mr. Charles, one of the real masters. You see a good move. Double leg dive. Took him forward. Jumps over. Covers for one and that's about it. But you gotta wonder what hit you when that Tony Charles starts oh, yeah. moving with those moves and counter moves on you. Something else. Tag out Latham gonna try it again. And to the top and down. Tony takes it to the outside with the hand. Bends it back right at the wrist. Tommy Gilbert Jr., partner of Tony Charles, standing outside waiting for whatever help he can be to Tony. And here comes Wayne Ferris. Ferris taken right over as Charles got that wrist in a leverage position and really just backed him down with it. He was going for a wrist lock right there. Ferris moved to him. But look at that. He spins him over one. Ooh. So quick. Tony, one of the one of the finest wrestlers with a counter counter move that you will find anywhere. He uh, it's tough to set up on a hold and keep it on Tony Charles for long. And Latham being wound up. Right down into the track knife. One. But that's all it is. He couldn't get the three out of him. Latham squirmed, kicked, and fought his way out of it at one and a quarter, really. Tony behind with the full Nelson. Takes him around and over the shoulder. Chin locks him. Hanging with that 
reverse face lock on Larry Latham. Close to his own corner in the event he should elect the tag out. Covers Latham once, but Latham slugs him with both arms going straight up and gets himself out of that count. Hip toss as he locks Charles and Tony kicks out right away. Tag on Wayne Ferris. And moving in and out pretty good, Ferris and Latham. And as he comes in, a big bar from Tony. Look at that. What that <laughs> take him over. Oh, 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 hope you got a good look at that one. Classic move. There's Ferris. Didn't like it at all. Leg died single. We're three and a half minutes into the action. He's kind of giving the uh, young fella uh, in the corner there kind of a clinical lesson here. Take a look at this, man, because he's showing him the way to do it. Let's that is great experience in itself for Tommy Gilbert Jr. If yep. he just watches those moves of Tony Charles, he's got to learn. Get that right. Tony takes it over and turns it over to the young guy. Drops down with a lower leg on Wayne Ferris. Brings it. He learns something. Yes, he did. Hooks that leg up, moves in on him. Watch yourself here. That other leg can kick you right in the mouth before you know what's happening. He grabbed tights that time, and look at that. Young Tommy, eager boy, if nothing else, he really will stay on top of you. He went for him and kept him from getting to the corner. Tags Tony. And Charles back into work. Takes the toe inside. Wayne Ferris on the deck. Tony with a 